Let's talk today about how to hack your minimap. Too many of you are missing vital pieces of information that will allow you to start to get more kills and be more successful simply because you aren't using your minimap to your advantage. So today, we're gonna be going over five ways that you can use your minimap to your advantage to start to understand where people are, anticipate a little bit better, get more kills, take less damage, break more PRs. Let's get into it. So as I mentioned, we're going over five different ways to use your minimap. And just understand that if you already feel comfortable with something, you can simply fast forward. I went ahead and gave you chapters down below. So you can fast forward to the next section and then we're going to be breaking down a 23 kill win that i had really I paying attention to these five things now when we talk about using our mini map to our advantage i want to talk about what i've really titled the snowball effect of information and what i mean by that is we get a little bit of information we're able to get a kill then we start to get more information we get more kills we get more cash and then we get more and it just keeps going and it just keeps snowballing and it allows us to start to really get more kills and take less damage the first thing to understand is that one of the most useful ways to use your minimap that not a lot of you are and you're really so missing good. this is using the audio cue of shots being fired a lot of vanguard guns are not being used with silencers which means people pop up on the minimap when they actually shoot their gun a lot of you are missing those audio cues and missing that information and that really comes into play at two different times first of all if somebody's close to you if somebody's shooting close to you you're missing that cue of where exactly is that person. No but also, if you're kind of wandering around, I always talk about one of the biggest mistakes that people make is simply wandering out in the open. A lot of you are wandering and missing the fact that they're shooting at Nova 6 or shooting in prison, and you are just wandering instead of just yep. pushing that direction, knowing that there te there's teams over there, and then figuring out where exactly you need to go. So when shots are fired, check that mini-map, see if you can pick up some information. Now, the second is going to be, of course, what Rebirth is most known for, which is using your minimap immediately after you get a kill. And I'm talking about immediately, almost simultaneously as you are getting that kill. I want you to start to look at that minimap. And there's two things that we're really looking for. The first is where are, actually three things, is where are the enemy's teammates? Where are those teammates actually in relation to you? The second is how many are there because having a solo person near you is different than having a three stack near you. So we need to look yep. at how many there are, where are they, and then also where are they moving to? Again, giving you an example. If you see two minimap pings and they're moving away from you, that is very different than if you see two minimap pings and they're pushing towards you. So as soon as you get that kill, you need to check that minimap, understand how many there are, where they are, and where they are rotating to. Last thing I'll tell you in terms of getting a kill, understand that ghosted players do pop up on the minimap. I'm going to show you an example right here where even though they don't ping as a dot, they are still pinging that general location. So you at least have an idea of where they are. You can start to anticipate, start to move that way, and really understand, at least have a general idea of where they are. Now, the third way that we can get information... Of course, what I always talk about with UAVs, get your UAVs up, focus on cash flow. That's going to give us an understanding of where everybody is across the, you know, pretty far net across the map. We're going to start to understand where those people are. That's going to give us information about where to rotate to. How many teams are we pushing into? Where are those people exactly? Are they close together? Are they spread out? A lot of you ask me, Joe, how do I stop getting shot in the back? How do I stop getting third partied so much? The answer is UAVs. If you get UAVs up, you're really going to start to understand exactly where where all of the teams are around you, especially levels, which let's talk about levels real quick, and then we'll talk about the last one. And I'm going to keep this very short and sweet. If it is just a dot, there's no arrow above or below, that person is on the same level as you. If there is an arrow above, that means they are above you in terms of the level. Now, keep in mind, if you're on the bottom floor of prison, if you're in showers, right, they could be on any of the levels above you or flying in. So you do need to still anticipate around each corner and anticipate that they're simply on the level above you and just kind of keep clearing as you go. Now, same thing with below you. If you're top prison and there's an arrow below you, they could be anywhere below you, any level below you. So you still need to really anticipate. Now, the last thing that I'll say here in terms of using our minimap, do not forget about communication towers. I talk about having good cash flow, but it's not always the case. And when we go back to that snowball effect of information, communication towers are a great way to do that because it might allow us to get one kill, which then allows us to understand where those teammates are, which then allows us to start to get more kills. And then we get that snowball effect going. So those five things right there, shots fired, 
using your minimap after you get a kill, UAVs, understanding levels, communication towers. Let's go see how it all plays out in an actual game of Rebirth and how I really use my minimap to my advantage to understand where people are and drop 23 kills. We are starting this game off grabbing loadout. And like I said, we're going to be paying attention to those five things and how they play out throughout this okay, gameplay, allowing me to constantly have information. And also what happens when I don't have information? So we're going to notice one around the corner. Pretty easy kill. I know that person's right there based on the minimap. I have one right here, which I calm to TCAP, and I have one backside this way who's not a threat. So we're going to go ahead and pull back here. I'm going to look at my money, and part of it for a lot of you is just understanding that you actually have enough money. So I'm going to grab money here. Pop UAV, and we're going to start to get a big picture is. as to where everybody is. Now, when I look at this, right, we obviously got a lot of people this way, but understand that TCAP and I are both very good players. So I know TCAP's rolling over to control. I'm going to go handle this side of the map right here. So I'm going to pop UAV. We're going to start to understand which way we're rotating to. And I actually asked TCAP, hey, you're going to control, right? Because if he's not, I want to be over there. He's going that way. He's going that way. So we're going to go ahead and push over. Now, I want to also keep this in mind. And this is where you start to understand and think about, okay, where are the sweaty players? Sweaty players tend to be at control. They tend to be at prison. So when I pop this UAV, I have two choices. I can go push prison or I can go push this team over at Harbor. Which one probably makes more sense to push? And I mean that with all due respect to anybody that lands and sits at Harbor because, or just lands there or ends up there. I mean that with all due respect, but generally speaking, 99% of the time, the team at prison is going to be sweatier. So I'm going to go take this team over here. And as soon as we get this first kill, we're going to use the minimap to our advantage. And I want to pause this and show you just how quick... So I actually, I actually tried to get that kill. There's the minimap check. I actually tried to get the second one because I saw him running by. There's the minimap check right here. And I'm looking at not only how many are there. There's two. Where are they? They're currently below me because of the arrows. And I'm watching where are they moving to. I know that I'm not in any immediate danger right here in terms of them shooting me. So I'm more concerned about where are they rotating to. And what I end up seeing is I'm going to anticipate around this corner. I see one right here. Notice how I have a lot of cover. If this guy smokes me, I'm definitely in a position where I can reposition. We get that one. Now we're going to go ahead and see the last one on my level backside. I'm going to go ahead and farm. Now, super unfortunate situation here. Guy flies in, grabs the heli. I would love to grab that, fly up top prison, start challenging that way. And this guy ends up, we no end up team wiping. Way, super unfortunate. We're going to quick fast forward. We play a little bit of Ring Around the Rosie with the helicopter so here. It's super annoying. I can't stand him in Rebirth. But at the end of the day, we're just going to keep finessing, kind of using cover to our advantage until we can get a spot to get the down and get the thirst. Now, where are these teammates, right? Get out, please bleed out we notice that they're over at chem immediate minimap check i'm checking my minimap right here up here i see two over above me there in chem out, so as please. soon as you get that kill you need to be checking that minimap we're gonna go ahead and push up here keep pushing don't really have any information just yet and i slow it down i fast forward to this point because right here is where i get information this is a shot being fired i went from having no information at all Two, I hear the audio cue, I check the minimap, and I see that one is up top. So now we're going to go ahead and push up here. A little bit of a risky play taking the zip, but we're going to go ahead and do it. And watch this series of events unfold. Watch this series of events. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to challenge, we're going to almost get the down. I stopped shooting a little early. Now we get the down, and we're going to go ahead and grab this thirst right here, because that's going to give me the next piece of information. And we don't have enough for a UAV or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and challenge this way. We get the thirst two above me backside. But look which way they're moving. They are moving towards me this way. So I'm going to go ahead and keep pushing back. Especially because, well, now I have one teammate alive. But TCAP died in lobby. So we're going to go ahead and challenge this way. Real quick, if you are looking to get better at Rebirth, my whole goal is to help you out. But I'm a 4KD player. I do videos every single day. I live stream on YouTube four days a week. So if you are looking to get better, take a few seconds. Just consider hitting that subscribe button down below. If, if you want to know when I'm posting and going live, make sure you turn on that notification bell down there. So we get... The kill right there. One person flying in. This is where I say arrow above could mean anything. Based on the pace of this person moving, it's clear that they are flying in. Still in here. This is how often we're using the minimap. It is very often. I hear one this way. Don't see him. And we're going to get this team wipe right here. Now, what happens? Well, really next check right is I have no information. Well, we have one outside this way that we need to keep in mind, right? We get a dot right there. I actually dropped my own gun. So I now I'm kind of freaking out because I can't find it. TCAP's going to grab that one. 
Come on, please grab the Owen gun. Thank you very much. Now we have enough money to get a UAV. So it's not only cash flow, it's recognition and understanding that you want to get a UAV up. Now I end up getting put in a really bad spot, and I want to talk about how we can still use this information to our advantage. I'm going to go in and check above. I didn't reload. And this one actually catches me. I guess drop down from tower puts me in a really bad spot. But I want you to notice how I use my minimap here. I'm going to push back. I'm going to stim. I'm in an okay spot. Now he's above, right? So I know this person's above me. Still up top. Still using my audio cues on my level, right? So now he's right around the corner here. So I'm going to push level. back down and try to play the little bit of cover that I can until I'm full plated and now we're back in. Now I end up just leaving this person for my teammate here, which was, I think, a mistake. I just... Does he okay, go down? Go over this I don't know if he goes down or not. We get UAV up. I'm going to start pushing. Now, first thing I notice is this person by himself. And this is where I talk about pushing easy kills. Well, you don't know what is an easy kill until you get to that point where you get those UAVs up. You get that information to start to understand what players are separated. That's all I'm looking for. I'll take my chances in a 1v1 fight. Once again, let's slow this down. I'm going to go ahead and push over this way. Watch how... Watch the minimap here. Watch how many players, where are they, where are they rotating to? Two above me. Notice this one is rapidly approaching, right? This one is quickly pushing my direction. So I'm going to go ahead and finesse, use a little bit of cover, and now we're back in, and we're back into cover. But I know they're up there. That's the other thing I want to talk about with information. Am I right? You should always be thinking about information. You don't necessarily have to immediately go push based on information, but at least keep that in mind. I still know that there are players top prison. I hear one down below. We're going to see what we can find. By the way, why do I love Combat Scout? Watch how easy this is. One tag. Is he challenging? Do we know? If I don't have Combat Scout, I don't know. But I do know that he's not challenging. Now I have the advantage because he's trying to run away. We're able to hit shots Scout. there. That's why I love Combat Scout. That's why I run it over amps. I know a lot of people make the argument for amps. But I think it's just too easy to take away re-challenges. And it makes people very predictable. It takes away the unpredictable, you know... The unpredictability of enemies because of that live ping. Now we're going to go ahead and push in here. Like I said, still two up here. I told you that information earlier. One here, tagged a little bit. I get the second one as he's pushing. Now I'm going to be honest, this was not a minimap kill. As much as it looks like it was, it was not. I caught him a little bit earlier. I caught him about right. I'll try to pause it. I actually catch this guy right here. Notice my eyes are not on the minimap. So as much as I'd love to tell you that I saw on the minimap that he was below me and he was pushing in, I, it, it wasn't. I just saw him. And I made a split-second decision there to go ahead and, and we get that down. But I do want to highlight this. Look at the minimap as I'm getting the kill. Watch, watch my eyes as I'm getting the kill here. Downed. My eyes are already looking at the minimap. This player's not thirsted yet. Already looking at the minimap. And why is that helpful? Watch which way this person's rotating. So out. I know this person is rotating towards me. I do two things. One, I stim for the health boost and the speed boost to get away. Here. The second is I tell inside. my teammate, this is the last one alive. We can 14. farm this team. We can leave this team alive, which is something for my advanced players, I starting to farm them. those kills. And that's where if you're looking to farm teams, you really have to start to use that information and yeah, understand yeah, when somebody is the last person alive. We're going to go in and tag this one up over this way. This guy's not, this enough, not enough oh, money for a UAV. I mean, TCAP does, but TCAP's not in a good spot. Now we just finesse this guy. But this is where I talk about understanding where people are. Notice the two dots. One here, one here, and this person shooting above. So I'm going to go ahead and play my cover. I'm going to pull back. I'm going to put barriers between me and that top team while also keeping in mind there's this team over this way. So that is the pace of which you want to start gathering information. But more importantly, the theme of what we've been talking about is hacking your minimap. How so much information, and so many people are like, you have wall hacks and all these different things. It's simply using the information that I'm being given. There's information, team top chem. Am I going to go push top chem? No, that is not a smart push right now. Okay, but I still want to keep in way. mind that that team is over there. That's going to play a factor. We get a UAV up. Now we're back in business. Snowball effective information. Let's see if we can push up. We get a kill. I'm trying to see what I can find. I'm anticipating. Don't see anything yet. Catch one right there. We catch the second here. One down, two down. How many people are around me though? Notice there's three people right here. There are three people on this minimap. So as I turn this corner, I get the down, I get the thirst. I know that there's still one down here. I don't even need the minimap ping to know that there is one down here. I already understand that there's three people below me in here. I've only killed two. I know that there's still one down here somewhere. Now, when I don't see him, 
Now I check the minimap to see where this person actually is and who else is around me. I catch that this one's the last one. We're going to go ahead and push into bio now. Bio gets very one. tough. And by the way, we haven't had a situation. Bio, you're yeah, running into ghost a lot le less. That's kind of one of the tips or one thing that I mentioned, but just, it's really only something to keep quick, in mind that if you notice smart, it and you see uh, the pulse without any dots, that is a ghosted player. So we're going to go ahead and push up here, see if we can keep moving. And we actually are going to use the communication tower here in a second because we do... We, we know there's a bunch of people over here. We don't have enough for a UAV, but we do actually have enough for the communication tower. So quick reload. Now we're back in. Everybody below me. And I know there's two teams here immediately. Now, I got to be careful here. This is where I talk about how do we approach 1v3, 1v4 situations. Well, this is a 1v6 situation. This is two teams potentially going to start fighting. And at the end of the day, I need to be careful. I need to be patient. Now, what do I notice? Free kill. Look over on the buy station. There's one person flying in here. I actually heard enemy UAV, but then I see one flying in. We're able to get this free kill. That is a free kill right there. Free kill. That's what I'm looking for. Did I take any damage? No. Why? Because that person was flying in. It's super easy. I now have 17 with five other teams still up. We're on a really good pace. Now, unfortunately, this is something I'm actually going to test. I might turn it into a short. Is What is the cooldown time of the communication tower? Because I actually don't know. I just know that I can't use it again right now. So we're going to go ahead and see what we can find around here. I know there's a bunch. I'm trying to see what I can hear, see what I can... One down below. Shots fired down in the corner, right? So I hear shots. I see that on the minimap. We're going to go ahead and challenge this way. Not totally sure. But notice that I'm anticipating in corners. Notice I'm anticipating being ready for people. I don't see anything just yet. They all Still nothing. Them. Can't really find anything. I'm looking for them. I'm anticipating. I'm trying to use my audio cues. Haven't had any other minimap pings. And watch this right here. Okay, this person's pushing up. Let's be unpredictable. Let's actually, let's take advantage of their predictability. Very clear where they're going. So I'm going to go meet this person over on this side. And this is going to open up information. We get one. We get two immediately on the challenge. We get the thirst. So one down here on my level and one below me over this way. And we're at the point where we can, by the way, we can wipe teams. Respawn's disabled, so I'm looking to wipe here. One over this way, immediately challenge. I don't need to plate up. I don't need to reload. I'm in a really good spot. Still got ammo left in the Owen gun. Still got Let's enough go. in the STG. So we're rocking and rolling. We got 20 kills. And just like that, it's a pretty simple 1v3 situation right there. We get the down. We get the second down. We get a thirst. We get the second thirst. We know exactly where that last guy is. And that's where you see the snowball effect of information. I'm just going to keep reiterating it. Once you get information and you can kind of get that momentum going, it becomes much easier. Down, thirst. Okay, what do I see? I see one over this way. They're very split. And I see one down below. So what do I do? I took no damage there. Quick switch to the Owen gun. Drop down. And that is it. That is how quick that happens. That's how quick that needs to happen. There's me looking at the minimap. There I am over this way. And let's go see what we can find. And we're going to go ahead and challenge this way. I love this loadout right here. I do love this loadout, although the Owen gun was just nerfed. I don't know if it's good. Now, we got one down here over this way, so let me go ahead and challenge. Let's play with a little bit of momentum, play with pace. We're going to anticipate around corners, and we're going to be ready to go. Do I see him? I do. We're going to challenge again. We're going to hit shots there, a little bit of movement. Yeah. We got 23 right there, and we're going to go ahead and clean up this last guy. We're going to basically play all the way around. He, first player goes down. TCAP goes down. I've got 14 grand, by the way. We talk about cash flow. So I'm going to buy back, buy back, and then do I pop UAV? I don't know if I do. I think I do. Buy back one. Technically, he should have given up, but I do see one below here. So now I have the information that I need. It's a 1v3 situation. He's right around the corner. And that's how you hack your minimap. That is how you use your minimap to get information, to understand where people are, to get that snowball effect and that momentum to start dropping higher kill games. I hope you found today's video helpful. As I always say, let's get better today, and I will see you tomorrow.